in the game just to get my fatty. And these lazy ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love Key Talk. Gang. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, man, y'all been doing a good job on them likes. Make sure y'all hit that like. If you're listening to my voice right now, if you didn't listen to me in the past, if you're just new to listening to me, however it may be, make sure that y'all hit the like for me on time so we get an algorithm. We can go up as a team, as a unit, as a family. Anyway, so, of course, yesterday I pretty much posted that Goyayo came out and said that he wants the fade with Sauce Walker. And then, of course, I posted another video with the response from Sauce Walker, who pretty much posted the gloves that he got at the Sauce Factory on time or the Squabble Factory that call it right and i'm talking about uh because when they're trying to get down with it they all get down with it right anyway so now it does look like Lil cj casino wanted to be known that he down the squabble as well and when i say he down a squabble he pretty much named the people that he would actually squabble he came out and he said that he will box get money little runny of course y'all know that's the right hand man to go yeah yo and also, hood, fame, no side, baby. Actually, I'm going to read y'all exactly what Lil CJ Casino said because uh, he hit a little trolling whenever he pretty much said that uh, that he would actually box them, right? Let me go ahead and get the screen refreshed. And when the screen is refreshed, I will be reading it to y'all. Uh, this is a good thing for Texas, though. Uh, you know, that everybody's trying to, like, squabble and box over just killing each other. You know what I'm talking about? So everybody can win. You know what I'm talking about? Because win, lose, or draw is still a good look, right? So, Lil CJ Casino pretty much came out and said all this talking who gonna pull up to the factory for real on blood i knock out any one of y'all especially chucky or that dirty as no side baby so you know i'm talking about that was his way of calling them out and of course they definitely did respond you know i'm talking about let me get to my comment section if you follow me on instagram at Key Talk Media, you'll be able to see all this news way ahead of time. You know what I'm talking about? Why? Because I post a lot on there first. Actually, I post everything on there first before I even get to start posting on here, right? Uh, so a lot of the, the casino and hood fame members actually did dip into the conversation about it. Uh, Lil, Lil Runny, you know what I'm talking about? Get Money Lil Runny immediately responded and said, the whole sauce factory know you a weenie and you ain't gonna bust a great we in a murder your hood more than you. So Get money, little Ronnie. Pretty much saying, "Hey, man, listen. First of all, that protection you think you got up there with the sauce for the young talking about with sauce walking down. Uh, they think you're a weenie, her junior, young talking about. And as far as down here in a murder, where you from? We in your hood more than you in your actual hood, right? In which Lil CJ Casino did respond, and he said, "Whole sauce factory, no Memphis dude stripped you, booty, ball, naked." And which uh, get money, little Ronnie did respond back again, and he said, "Lil CJ Casino, you must still be hibernating. You got slapped." Out that fake as jury at Dirty Glove Bubba Studio. Not rob, but slap. Go give them their cameras back. Now, of course, y'all do know uh, the story to both of those. For one, uh, they were saying that the Memphis dudes pretty much uh, did some stuff to Lil Ronnie to his jury. And then, of course, some people were saying some stuff that Lil CJ Casino had his jury took uh, at the DGB studio. Of course, both of those events uh, was talked about in the past. Anyway, so... It does look like uh, Lil CJ did respond again, and he said, post your Chucky chain with a laughing emoji, in which Lil Runny said, bet I can post them fake up because you had, and now Ferrari Casino, which of course y'all know who is a part of Lil CJ Casino's crew, actually stepped in, right? He tags Hood Family Lil Runny and said, you because ain't harming nothing, harmless, literally, in which look, Get Money Lil Runny responded back to Ferrari Cos Casino and said, you 40, got a page full of fake Jury, in which Hood Fame, no side baby, actually came and responded. Mean, he, re he really, he put like the laughing emoji, right? Uh, because originally, remember, Lil CJ Casino called out Get Money, Lil Runny, and he also called out uh, Hood Fame, no side baby. In which, uh, you know, and then from there, and just a whole lot of other members and, and stuff was kind of like just tapping in, uh, letting it be known that, hey, man, it is what it is. If y'all want to squabble up, we can squabble up. We can fight it out. We can box it out. We can do whatever may come with it. You know what I'm talking about? Even Hood Fame. Uh, OG Coon Pappy, you know what I'm talking about? Solid 360 Coon Pappy even got up in that thing and was pretty much talking his talk too, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, so, the good news is we're going to mess around and end up actually seeing some battles. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe some boxing matches between uh, maybe 4E Casino, you know what I'm talking about? 4E uh, and, and the South Fighter Squad, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, and which is a good thing for Texas, like I've been telling y'all. It ain't like, uh, you know, it ain't like this is something that's just bad, that there's guns and shooting. Yes, it can turn into that, but if they make sure that they keep it and, and, and keep it, 
guns down, hands up, gloves up, you know what I'm talking about, then that's a good thing for Texas, right? You don't want it, you don't want stuff to get just completely out of line. Anyway, so after Lil CJ Casino made that post, uh, I did read to y'all what uh, Hood Fame Runny actually came out and said, and of course, No Side Baby as well. Uh, and it's pretty much just a lot of people saying that they ready to get down with the boxing, you know what I'm talking about? So y'all might be seeing a whole lot of boxing coming out of Texas here pretty soon, you know what I'm talking about? Whether it be uh, some of the rappers, some of the bloggers, whatever it may be, it does look like that Texas is really trying to get down with the fish, you know what I'm talking about? They're really trying to get down with the gloves, without the gloves, you know what I'm talking about? Wrap the hands, whatever it may take, it does look like Texas trying to get down with it uh, and with that being said we got to get on to the next topic um birdman right so birdman has potentially crossed nba young boy well according to nba young boy you know what i'm talking about nba young boy came out with a new song uh, that was actually released and he said he knew that he should have never trusted birdman and he should have listened to carter which means lil wayne probably told him a while ago hey listen man you better watch your money and watch this and watch that you saw what happened to me right uh but little do people know that NBA Youngboy actually did a deal with Birdman. So technically, he was signed to cash money. You know what I'm talking about that's something that not a whole lot of people know. I believe academics actually spoke about that. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people, excuse me, a lot of people don't actually know that, that NBA Youngboy did actually end up signing with Birdman. So he was a cash money artist. Uh, and of course, a lot of cash money artists have had issues and trouble with um, some of the business practices that Birdman has done in the past. Uh, but the specifics on the whole NBA Youngboy stuff, we don't know. You know we don't know if it's just some contractual stuff that he's he mad about. I mean, wh honestly, NBA Youngboy is locked up right now, right? Whenever you're locked up, you're probably going to have a lot of anger feelings about a whole lot of other stuff uh, that's actually going on. And then also, we don't know when the song was actually recorded could have been recorded a while ago and it's just now getting released that he's actually inside of jail right now you know what I'm talking about so it, it like I say the the events will just have to line up buddy had to get out of jail and when he get out of jail I'm sure he'll do some type of talking about it do I expect Birdman to respond to any of it no was Birdman really responding when Wayne was saying it no uh well at times like he, he probably said a little something something he actually he was always like that's my son <laughs> like and the people would be like so, uh, Birdman, uh, how do you, you know, what, what do you have to say about you and Wayne? Uh, you know, he's saying this and that. And he'd just be like, ah, right, that's my son. We're going to make that right. That's my son. He always said that. And at the end of the day, it looked like they did make it right, too. So, you know, with all that being said, uh, I got to see if I got another. To oh, my goodness. I do got another topic to talk about. That boy YSL Woody done came back out the chambers. And when I say came back out the chambers, you know, they sent they sent YSL Woody to the gulag because Buddy refused to testify. You know what I'm talking about? They said, hey, YSL Woody, uh, w w what's your what's your age? Uh, how old are you? An adult. Uh, and, and what's your birthday? I plead the fit. So, you know what I'm talking about? So they sent him to the gulag. Monday, which is today, they brought him back out the gulag to see if he was ready to go ahead and testify. Now, he showed up to court, and now it looks like YSL Woody is ready to testify, but there's a plot twist in it all. YSL Woody got out of jail, but Young Thug's lawyer ended up going to jail. Now, y'all may be wondering, what in the blue hell do you mean Young Thug lawyer went to jail? Yes, Young Thug lawyer went to jail because he's been held in contempt. Because he came out uh, and pretty much said that uh, he knows who killed Donovan Nut Thomas, which is YSL Woody. So the judge immediately was like, hold on, how in the blue hell do you know that? Because obviously the judge has actually talked to YSL Woody and, and got the statement that YSL Woody is who killed Donovan Nut Thomas, uh, which could be some type of um, interfering with, with the trial that's actually going on. How did you answer that question? You're not. No, I will not answer that question. Why will you not answer that question? Because I want to make sure that what I say is accurate and I'm not trying no, to... No, 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 no. I'm asking you, how did you get this information? I'm not telling the court. What I'm saying is based on information... Okay, well, listen, if you don't tell me how you got this information, then you and I are going to have some problems. We can have... I have problems right now. Okay, I, like I, I know. I, look, I don't, I don't want to know about your problems, okay, at this point in time. All I'm asking you at this point in time is, how did you come upon this information? You're, look, if the case gets reviewed... The record's going to be available for, for 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 our appellate court and for whatever reason. But it's disturbing that how so, somehow you have surreptitiously gotten information in regards to the court's private ex parte conversation with a party. I mean, a I party, let, yes. a witness who was sworn in Friday, 
The court's telling, this is what I was told. If this is not true, not true. This court Mr. Steele, handed Mr. Me, Copeland tell me how, tell me how you perjury. Got, tell me how you got the information. Uh, so the judge was kind of wondering how in the blue hell did uh, did the buddy's lawyer know that? How did how did Young Thug lawyer know that? Because he talked about that with Woody in like a private kind of setting. Uh, so there's no way that he should actually know that information. Uh, I'm going to actually read y'all a, a more detailed report on it, right? So it says... Young Thug's lawyer gets arrested for refusing to tell the court who told him info about a private in-chambers meeting that no defense attorney was invited to, which was YSL, which was YSL Woody, where I guess he admitted that he actually killed Dunham and Up Thomas to the actual judge, right? Uh, it's speculated that YSL Woody attorney shared confidential meeting information with Young Thug's attorney, which the judge believe is a major violation. So in, in other words, Young Thug lawyer standing on business for, for Young Thug, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Young Thug lawyer is definitely invited to the cookout. You know what I'm talking about? He got a whole lot of barbecue points for what he's doing right now, right, with the standing on business. It continues and it says, Thug's lawyer contends that the meeting was improper without any defense attorney, and the judge says him knowing about the meeting is highly improper. Since he didn't reveal who told him the info, he was taken into custody after being held in contempt. Now, that's wow. So Young Thug literally just sitting there like this, kind of just watching, right? And then while he's watching, all of a sudden Young Thug's lawyer gets brought to uh to get get pretty much gets arrested right so just imagine you at court and trying to get yourself off the line and then all of a sudden you see your judge your lawyer you know talking about end up getting arrested so that's just some other wild news that's actually happened with inside of the uh these media screens you know talking about uh now I got another topic, but we ain't going to talk about this time. I'll make another video later, but I'll just tell y'all kindly what it is. One of the prosecutors of the Atlanta prosecutors actually was arrested for a $15 million COVID uh, relief fund fraud that she actually donated money to Mrs. Fonnie Willis as well. So I'll get into that in another video. But how do y'all feel about the whole, you know, the Fort Worth, Texas, you know, talking about Texas period, really, because Houston, Texas, you know, talking about the sauce father, uh, you know, you know, talking about on that, on fighting time, you know, talking about on boxing time um, rather than on shooting time. Of course, it couldn't turn into shooting time. We're going to hope and pray it don't turn into shooting time and hopefully they got an order to where it can be orchestrated, organized, and set up to where it's really just boxing, you know, talking about. Uh, now, with that being said, of course, oh, and then also YSL Woody, you know, talking about YSL Woody finna go ahead and spill the beans on a couple of things, but seeing the fact that Young Thug Judge was arrested uh, and also Young Thug Judge uh, lawyer, not judge, lawyer was arrested and he asked for a mistrial. So, which the judge said he would think about that. So, we're going to see how all that goes. Anyways, let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.